Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are starting another series today. Yes, I'm starting another series. This is Create Above and Beyond. It's got the Create mod, which I've had a lot of fun with before. And uh, this purpose of this mod, it seems, is to try to get to the moon. And there's a lot of automation we have to do in this, and I thought it'd be kind of fun. Now, I've already done a little bit of testing. I've also opened up a community server for people who are channel members with this uh, particular pack. And so I did some testing on there. So I kind of know what I'm getting into before I start. And so we're going to start this up right now. So this uh, is the seed that I have picked out. I looked at a few seeds and I liked it because where I started out, there's this little like nook in the mountains. And I thought this was really, really cool. Uh, there is a house up here. You can see that. And it looks like also a secondary house. Um, I did not see that in the first thing that I did, but that's pretty cool. And there's already a chest in there, which is very nice. Now I've seen in... Uh, the multiplayer worlds, this chest right here, is typically um, a uh, chest that can be opened up by each player. So when I open this up, you can see it's kind of like got the gold color. And when I take everything out of it, just like all that, it turns to silver. It's marks it means that I can't get it anymore, but it's still available for other players if there were other players playing on this server. So there we go. Uh, this house has a big mine shaft that goes down, and we're going to explore that in a second. But I think this one here, where's the entrance? It's just a regular old house, doesn't have anything special, but it has these little pots that you can get things. And uh, in, in the uh, community world that I have on my server, this is what I used as a base. But you can see it's just got some interesting textures, log cabin-like structures and some other things in here. So um, we're going to start to do today not really working with create as much as exploring. We want to start to get some materials and get some things done because you can get a lot from exploring right off the bat. So, um, you can see there, I already got a bunch of stuff. Anyway, I think I need to get some trees, though, get some wood, and come back here uh, so I have some tools. So, we're going to go over here this way and see if I can get some tools. Like most worlds, you start by punching some wood here. We're going to get some trees to get some wood so we can get some sticks and other tools. Fast leaf decay is in this pack, so as soon as I get this last uh, piece of wood here, it should all just dis dissolve, and we should get all of those other resources here. Now, I do have a sapling. That's good. You can hear the birds, they make a lot of noise. Um, that's part of this pack as well. A lot of ambient things, and that makes it kind of cool. Uh, so my plan here, like I said, is I'm going to grab as much of this wood that I need. I'm gonna make some chests, and I'm gonna get some stuff storage set up over at the little nook. And then we're gonna go down into the, that uh, house's mine and see what's down there. As you can see, it is getting dark. I do not have a bed yet, and I realize that both of these structures don't have uh, beds. So I'm gonna have to hole up here, I think, and uh, see what goes on. I did plant some uh, of the saplings over here. And I started to create a little workshop space. This had a nice little overhang. I kind of opened it up a little bit. And I'm going to put some things in here like furnaces and things and have some storage. So things are going to look really good, but it's dark. And I probably need to secure this entire area. I do have some torches. Maybe I should just start to do this right now. <laughs> I know Thomas would say, so, you know, secure this all up. Oh, look, there's a nice water spot. That would be good for a uh, farm. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do also soon is probably make up a little bit of a farm so we have some some food sources, right? So maybe some get some wheat going and that sort of thing. But let's just light some of this up here. Oh, I hear skeletons. I hear, I hear sounds. There's probably stuff underground. Okay, well, we're out of torches. We're going to go back over here. And I'm just going to um, try to work on this space a little bit, organize what I have here, and maybe work on the farm. Try not to die. That's the goal. Try not to die. No, you can't get in. The rain has stopped. It is the new day. I'm going to do some exploring here to go get some food. I am going to take, first of all, I got a piece of stone. That's kind of cool. I forgot I did that. Um, I'm going to take the furnace with me. We're going to grab some coal that's on these like mountain walls that I see. We're, we're going to go and do some exploring to see if we can get, get the stuff for a bed because I don't want to have to uh, do that anymore. As you can see, we're already out of, out of uh, food there. We're getting low, so I can't even run. But I do know there are animals around here like cows and things. And if I have the furnace with me, I can cook that up and, and get that done. So at least we have some food until the farm starts producing enough, okay? So let's grab some coal here. This should work. I don't need a lot of coal, but I do want to have some. Enough at least that I can cook up some of the... Uh, I'm thinking I'm having steak. Yep, we're going to have steak for dinner. Let's get a little bit more coal here. Okay. Well, let's finish this vein out. It looks like it's almost done, isn't it? You always think that about coal. It's almost done, and then it's not. There we go. Okay. 
And over there, there are some cows. So that's the goal here, getting some uh, food first, and then we'll go back and start to explore some buildings. And one more steak will give us seven, plus I've already eaten a few pieces to get myself fully healed. And we got three leather, that's not bad. Okay, so we're gonna take this all back to the uh, house and then we're gonna go down into that other structure. Of course, it's raining again, but we'll get by with this stuff. We're gonna grab these, these are coins. These coins allow us to buy things later on uh, with this pack. And I haven't gotten into much of this pack. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna cover that in the next episode. Right now, we're just kind of getting some resources. So we're gonna go on down here. Hopefully the, the sound will die down. One thing you need to be careful of is that there is broken cobblestone. So if you're going down, oh, it divides, huh? Okay, it goes either direction. We're trying to get down to the bottom, but you have to watch out because some of these are on a, a version of broken cobblestone that if you step on it, will make it fall. It goes this way, let's go this way first. Uh, hopefully I, I don't hit the broken cobble, uh, but you gotta be kind of like looking for it and hopefully you can see it. Oh, it got some bamboo, that's good. Uh, wooden rail, there's andesite. We'll get that too in a little bit. Let's grab this one here. Will we get a bottle of enchanting? See, we're getting things. You just have to be really careful because I think one of these is down here is what is that broken stone. Ugh, scary. Oh, hey, we made it all the way to the bottom without any incident. Excellent. Look at this. We got another chest. Oh, and look at all of that. That's excellent. We got an iron sword. We didn't have a sword. That's excellent. Heart of the sea, some prisoning crystals, 12 iron ingots, and three gold ingots. We can make a, a bucket now. That's so awesome. Let's grab this stuff. And uh, see what else we get in these little things. What is that? A peculiar bell. A decorative brass bell. Placing it right above an open soul fire may cause side effects. That's interesting. Okay. There's also some resources here, but I'm not going to gather those right now. We're just going to go on up. Actually, you know what? This could be a good entrance to a mine since it's right here. Maybe we'll make this the actual mine. So I'm not going to gather that stuff either. But I think we were okay walking here on this track. I don't think we had anything that made us fall down. So, so far, so good. Okay. So, let's go the other direction. Oh, there's a thing over there, too. Let's grab this for some string. And grab that. And we got, oh, we got a cog wheel for create. That's excellent. Okay. We're going down here. Hopefully, none of this is broken. Oh, a little scary. Oops, see? That, that, that was broken cobblestone. And I hear mobs, and it could, uh, what is it? See, broken stone. I'm going to mine it. Broken stone. Sometimes it makes you go into a pit. That's really bad. Okay, that's okay. I don't mind that so much, as long as we can get it back out. Okay. <laughs> okay, going on down here. Watch out for broken stone. Lava is not good. Oh. Look at it, we got a huge cave. Maybe we don't even need to make that other area. Yeah, our, uh, our, 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 oh mine. Uh oh. No, no, not in the back. Okay, you're gonna come up here? You're gonna come and get me? Wow, do we have any blocks? We have some weathered stuff. We have some cobble here. I'm gonna try to block this off a little bit for now. Not that right there. That was not what I meant to do. Okay. At least that's blocked off enough. I don't think things can get to us. Okay. Whoa, this is, this is kind of scary. Oh, it is. No, no, no. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that caused me some grief on the community world. Um, we want to get rid of this stuff here and so I can get down to here. Let's see. Okay, that should be safe. There is a chest down here. We don't have a bucket yet. So if we got a bucket and some... That's broken stone, see? That would have caused me to fall down there. I don't think so, game. I don't think so. Okay, let's... Um, let's see if we can get back and we can get some water. We can also get this all to... Oh, we have magna blocks too. I came back up to the surface. It was raining really bad. I didn't have a bed, so I said, I'm just going to run out and see if I can find a village or something. And I did. You can see that's where my base is, way over there where that purple um, beam is. And there was a bed here. But I also discovered there's a chest here. So I'm going to take the bed, first of all. And I'm going to open up this chest and see what we got. And we got a lot of resources. So um, this is pretty cool. Now, I'm, I am heading back over there, but I'm going to raid this village and see what I can get. Oh, that looks kind of neat. Slimy thing. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to see what's here, see if there's any other chests that we can uh, open up or anything like that. Thank you. Um, bed, there's another one of these chests. Good. Getting a lot of resources, and I want to take all this back and see 
um, how we've done so far today with resources, because that's important. Wow, there's a lot of these chests. And a lot of emeralds, too. Okay, we are back down here. I'm going to put down some water. And that will fix that problem. Now, we don't have any lanterns down here, so it's not very uh, bright, but that's okay. Uh, we can get that in a little bit. Let's get some of these resources here. What do we got? We got a bunch of stuff. Some TNT even this time. What is this? Oh, it's a loot barrel as well. Okay. And we even get more stuff, including obsidian with iron. I'll have to take a look at that. We got a little bit of redstone, and that's kind of useful too. We'll get some resources. Now, these chests here, I can't pick these up. So, uh, before you ask, I can't do that. Be nice if I could. What was that? We got some another brick. Oh, boy. Haha. <laughs> Now, I would like to get some of this uh, magma block if I can, so that's good, okay. I can't get the obsidian yet because of the fact that it's uh, not a diamond pick, but this can be very useful, this magma block. Um, we have to just be careful that we don't have any uninvited guests here. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, I really need to light this up, but this uh, might be a good place for an entrance to a mine. Up there, you know, we have the spot where we can go and, and hear people. Maybe we can clear that out. I don't know. We will have to mine soon. Let's get back up to the base. We've pretty much explored this building here, and we got our little base here for our uh, resources and things. And, of course, we're growing food, and we got some wood production. So this is pretty good. Let's go take a look at a map, and there is a map in this software. And you can see here that there are some things around. Here's our base in the center area over here. And I went over this way to this village, uh, and that's where I've got the bed and things. But I noticed that there's another one of these structures that looks just like the one we had. So that's probably one of those things that has the the uh, the mine that we had, the <laughs> broken cobblestone. That would be good for getting more resources. Also, there's an ocean up here, and I know we're going to probably be using kelp. Kelp was very useful uh, in the pack for Create. So I think I'm going to get uh, some... Some, some some kelp while I'm out this way. So we're gonna go over here first, I think, and then go up to the, the ocean. Here is that structure. It's the same as what we had before. I can loot this fully though. So I'm gonna take things like these lanterns and that sort of thing. And there's a chest right away. And again, we have some more redstone and that's good. We also have some torches. Uh, what is this, a bat wing? I guess it's some sort of food, but it's poisonous. We probably won't be using that very much. Golden carrot, that's good. Let's grab this lamp. There we go. Let's check on the outside first. There's this right here. That's good. It's not really outside. I thought it was outside. Okay, so is there any other structures out here? Hi, cow. I won't kill you today. Okay, so not really much outside. Okay, we're going to go down in. I made it all the way down without finding any of the broken uh, stone, so we're good there. Let's see what this is. More gold and some diamonds, and that is excellent. We got some diamonds. That'll be useful so we can have like maybe a diamond pick eventually. Okay, let's grab that and that. Some more resources. You can hear lots of mobs around. Uh, that's typical. <laughs> but hey, we got a lot of this. Now, I don't plan on coming back down here ever again. I'm going to take the lanterns as we go because those could be useful. There we go. Okay, heading back up. The other thing we said we we're going to get is some kelp. So let's go down here and grab it. Now, it's getting dark, and I don't like being out here when it's dark, so, uh, I might have to stay in the ocean. No, I'm, I'm gonna swim all night. That, that's, I'm not gonna pull a Magnum PI. You don't want to talk about, go watch Magnum. Um, anyway, um, we're gonna be just, uh, heading back here in a second, and, uh, probably exploring some more stuff. It's a round moon. Wow. I brought all of that back to the base, and do some more exploring. I, there's something over here, but it looks kind of involved. But there's also up at the top here, up north, there is something on this little, like, little uh, plateau, if you will. So I think I'm going to head that way. Of course, we got to go kind of around our mountain. But uh, I think that might be really cool to see what that is. It looks like this is some sort of structure. A uh, tent, maybe, made out of wool. That's cool. That's And there's also something way over there I can see. We're going to check that out in a second. And those things are noisy. We do have a sack. That's good to have. That's something that we can use. Uh, we're gonna have, of course, another crafting table. We got some benches. We're gonna grab everything here, I think. Anything in the barrel? No. And let's see, we got a campfire and a, basically a skillet. Okay. And it looks like this is all made of wood and a spare bed. That's good too. So I'm gonna take all of this and then we're gonna head over to that other structure I just saw. This looks to be a structure that was a windmill at one point, but there's some stuff in here that I think will be very useful. But I also noticed there's some broken stone in here. If you look down in here, 
right here is broken stone. That stuff makes you fall through. But there's some gears here. Look at this, this is a millstone. I mean, of course we want that. I don't like this right there. Oh, see, and it goes down to it looks like a pit with water. Okay. We're gonna grab all of this and see what we get from the crate. I mean, there's some nice things here. Some some of these, these are shafts, and we have some gears. I mean, this is pretty cool. Um, I just don't oh, and we fell down. That's what happens with broken stone. But, but we should be okay here. We can get out of this pretty quickly, I think. This sack is going to be useful. I'm going to put everything that is create related in here. So that would be this radial chassis, sail frame, shaft. We have a large cog wheel. Looks like we have a wooden bracket. We have a millstone. We have a windmill bearing. All of those are nice things that are with um, create. I'm going to keep that in there for now. We'll grab that and we're going to grab the bed. Now let's take a look at this map because we probably have loaded more stuff in. Oh, okay. So look over here. We can see that there is, looks like a some form of a crater or something. This is probably an underwater crater for some stuff. So that probably means applied energistics is inside of this pack. Also, if you look straight over here, there's a structure. I think I'm going to head from this point kind of like west southwest to this and see what we can find. Well, it's quite a drop, but it does have some spruce down there. We have to get down to that building. Made it. And now we can get some of these other resources here. I finally broke that stone pick. We can finally go to the iron pick that I made. That's excellent. And there's not a whole lot in here. Uh, we got some algal blend. This is actually very useful. We'll get into this in the next episode. But not a whole lot here um, for us to use. That's not a lot here. But we can get some more spruce. And that would be good. That'd be good for another like resource type. Is there anything else around here? Do we see anything? And I'm not seeing a lot of stuff. I mean, there's there isn't really anything like a structure or anything that kind of stands out on the map. So I think we're going to go on back to our base after I get some spruce. One of the last things that I think I need to do for this episode is I really need to start a mine. We will need a lot of andesite for the next uh, episode when we start the create uh, mod. So I'm going to start a mine and I'm trying to think of a place where I want this. And I think I might want it over here just to start out. I did encounter an, a, an air gap right below this area. So I'm going to start over here, I think. And we're just going to go in and see what we can see here. Hopefully, uh, we can find like a beginning of a mine or a cave system, which will get us more resources. Okay, so we're going to go on down a little bit and see if I can encounter that pocket. I believe it was just this way a little bit. Yeah, see, there it is. I don't know if it's just a big cave. It looks like a cave. That's pretty nice. And we're at the end of it. That's good. So let's see what else we can find here. I've got to get more torches for sure. We have some copper. It looks like we have some zinc ore. That's good. How far does this go? Does it go pretty far down? It looks like it does. So I think I need to get some more torches. Um, Thomas would be very upset at me if I didn't have more torches. So this is a very small cave and it does dead end. But we do have some andesite in here. We have some coal. Uh, we have also some gravel, which might open up another area for us. Who knows? We also had a little bit of iron, a little bit of copper, and some zinc. So we have some resources here. So I think I'm going to mine all of that out. And we'll see what we get when I get out through this uh, little mini mining session. Back from mining out everything that I think is usable. And we got a lot of the andesite cobblestone. I picked up a lot of that. And of course, we got some crushed copper ore, crushed iron ore, and crushed zinc ore. Now, the interesting thing about the crushed iron ore, you would think that this is one-to-one. -one. You get an iron ingot out of it. But if I look at this, I'm going to basically hit you. You can see if you smelt this up, you only get three nuggets worth. Now, there probably are other ways that we can get, um, get more out of it. Um, if you take one of those and you dry it, you get three. It's the same thing as a smelting. Uh, if you put one in, you get three iron dust. So I think it's basically the same way for now. But we do have some copper, some iron, and some crushed zinc ore. That's fantastic. So we've gotten a really good start, guys, here for the next episode. The next episode, we're going to really start in on create. We're going to make some very basic farms and uh, get through some of the questing that's on here. I wanted to get some stuff started here, though, so that we have a good base to start from. And literally, we have a decent base. I, this is pretty good for me. We've got a little mine over there. we got a mine that we made over here. We've got the base that's right here with the little house and all of our storage and some, like, workshop abilities and some food and some woods and a little place that we can have a lot of room to make up all of our automated farms. So, guys, that's it. Until next time. Hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comments section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and bye-bye.